Yeah, yeah, yeah that's not fully closed. No, okay. okay. If whoever's going to empty it, make sure that anybody who's left in here realises they're going to empty it, otherwise you do not want a little present left behind when yeah. you come back. Mm -hmm. It's not, uh, not the best place to uh, try to clear out either. Light switches for the bathroom is that one there. You yeah. see that one? Yeah. Light switch for the uh, the uh, lights above the uh, lockers. Yeah. It's actually on the trigger switch. That's your dimble lights on the on there. Right. And you have got little switches on the you see the oh, yeah. down lighters there. You've yeah. got little tiny switches on them as well. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Light switches on just on the kitchen there. You can just see just above the shelf. Oh right. Yeah, yes. So there's a trigger switch there yeah. and one. Is for the uh, dimmer lights, and yeah. the other one is for the lights underneath there. Right. And then you've got little spots underneath the lockers there, which you've got a little switch underneath there as well. Right. And then one above your head is a little down light spots there. All oh, right. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. Happy with them bits? Yep. Good. Right. If you want to get your phone out, then we'll, we'll go through the app. Yeah. Oh, I thought you had it with you. No, it's in the car. <laughs> it's in the car. Everybody seems to leave it in the car. That's it. So obviously you've been thinking about having a caravan for a while, or mm. so, just, so obviously someone recommended you. Donuts. <laughs> yeah. No, it's good if you, obviously some people you know, you know who obviously recommended, obviously George as well. George, he, he does look after his customers. Not that everybody else doesn't, but <laughs> George does, definitely does. Right, so what type of phone we got? Apple. Apple, right, okay. So, we've got Bluetooth on, yeah. So we go to your... Um, there we go. App. Swift command, switch that on. So I need to go up here now. So, first time connection. So if you're going to connect any other devices, this is what you need to do. So I need to scroll until I see system settings. Press the select button. So this is where you can change the clock and things like that. Yeah. I'm going to scroll up. You can scroll up or down, it doesn't matter. It comes yeah. right to the same point anyway. If I scroll up, I can see Bluetooth pair. Yeah. Okay, so just tap on the Bluetooth icon there. That one. Yeah. Right, so I'll put switch that on with Bluetooth active now, blue light flashing. Search for control panel. And we should see. Oh, we've got two coming up. <laughs> uh, that's strange. We got why have we got two coming up? Well, one's probably yours and one isn't. Hang on, let me just check. Mick? Are, have you are you doing the Bluetooth connection? No. Alright, because I've got I've got two Bluetooths on, on on this screen here at the moment. No, you're not doing that. That's fine. That's right. So I don't want to connect to the next door. Right. So now we got, this could be interesting. Well, we'll soon find out. Right. If you tap the top one, and what will come up is pair, pair. That's it. Right. So if their lights start going up and down, we know we're connected to them. But it shouldn't. It shouldn't do. So if we just tap on, on the lights for a second, I just wait for it to become clear. Right. So dim two is the one above the lockers. If you tap this end. Yeah, so that's the right one. That's good. Here we are. Right. So, what we can do, obviously, we now connected Bluetooth. Just come back out of there, and I'll just go through the different icons. So the first one we come to is power. So when it becomes clear, it's communicated with the control panel. We can switch the power on and off. We can switch to leisure battery from vehicle battery if that was on site. That's not when you're travelling. It's just when you connect on site. Yeah. If you want to do, I wouldn't worry too much yeah. about that. AC limit. We can actually set an AC limit, which I didn't explain on the control panel. You connect to a bollard on site, they've got a limit to how much electric you have. If you overdo it by switching all sorts of different things on, electric wise, obviously it tends to be like things like kettle, anything high energy can trip their bollard. So you can actually set a limit so it doesn't. And what it will do is when you set it, it will reduce the power on the boiler so you don't overdraw it. Mm -hmm. But you could still drop it by uh, obviously switching too much on. Okay. Right. What it's also showing here is levels of things. So level, level of amperage on your battery, Leisure, as in the voltage of your battery, yeah. mains level of what usage we're doing there. Solar, you haven't got a solar panel on this no. one. Okay, let's come back out of that one. Next one is water. So we can actually switch the water pump on via this. Right. Okay. Um, these other ones don't apply. Okay, so it's just, just water pump on and off because we haven't got a tank full on this. So just be very careful. If you're setting things up outside, you plug the water in, you think, oh, I could do this from outside and tap the water pump on. If you haven't got control again over these taps, yes. you could have water all in the van before you've even got in. So I'm a man of a certain age, I shan't be doing this outside. Okay, no, okay. <laughs> right, just come back out of that one then. So what we've got is heating, so we just tap on that one. So there's one thing I haven't checked at the moment. Right. So what we've got, we're talking to this manually. 
Okay, well I'm just gonna get just come back out of this for a second. So we're talking to that manually, so we're talking the heating via that control panel. This we can control, talk to it via the uh, app. So what I'm gonna do first, heating settings, select that. So you see it's control manual. Yeah. What I need to do is go what I need to do is change that on the select button. So we can select timer or app. Obviously that's what we want. Exit out of there. Little clock appears on there. This is now closed down because it's waiting for a timer to tell it what to do. So right. we say it says CI, which is a communication with that. So it shut it off. Right. So I'm just waiting for this to catch up. There we go. So this is now waiting for a timer. You can set seven individual day timers. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or oh, it just it's just dropped out. So that it does that. Just tap that little icon on the bottom. Search for control panel. So this is what you would do each time you come into your van now. Yeah. Not sure why we've still got two around there. Tap on the top one. So when the screensaver comes on, that will shut you shut you back out again. Just tap it again. I don't want to do it now. Try again. I can't, I, I should, have, should have just checked which number it was when I looked at it. Is it going to do it? Go for that one. There we go. Right. And then it might be just be picking up another van. Yeah, it, should, it shouldn't. It shouldn't be picking up another van, but it obviously is. Um, so timer timer one, that's the same for every day. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. What we've also got is override. Mm -hmm. So what we can do, if you just tap on override, so these things we could actually be doing also uh, remotely. So this is what we can do remotely. Obviously, this is just on Bluetooth at the moment. We can do it via internet signal yeah. also. So if you imagine a scenario, we're out and about. We've set our timer to come on at four o'clock because we're going to be back at five, so the van's nice and warm when we get back. Um, so we've got up, got up the hill over there, got to the top, it's cold. We're coming yeah. back down again. So we thought, right, instead of changing the timing on the time on the timers, we can just set override. So right. we can tap energy. So it's got gas there. If you tap it again, it's got ga gas and electric. Next one we've got is runtime. So it says an hour at the moment. You could set it up to four hour runtime. Yeah. Center one is, is temperature. So you just tap the center one that says off at the moment. Just scroll that up to 25 degrees. Because I want it to be warm when we come back. Right, done. We could set water heating on, but we're not going to do that. Right. Then we just press start. So then we're looking for... Is it jump? It's going to jump out in a minute, I think. One second. Yeah, it's not communicating at the moment. It's likely to jump in a minute. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> it's just, just thinking, no, I don't want to play now. Oh, here we go. Right, just going to jump out of that again, I think. Just tap on override again. That just that the one that's little. That's it. Just going to jump off that. Sometimes with iPhones, because the the shed we're in, the, the metal work or whatever yeah. can uh, interrupt it a little bit on the signal. I'll just just come back. Out, just come back out. Cause I've got a feeling it's going to drop out a signal in a minute. Just go back into heating. Again. I don't want to talk to you at the moment. Right. So what we'll do, we'll do just, disconnect, just tap on that one, disconnect to the bottom. So that's shutting the Bluetooth off. Just come back out, come back, right back out of it. Right, just, just go for the signal again. That's it, right, just switch back on again. Go for heating again. Time seven. Right, go override. for override. Yeah, let's go for override again. So just tap on, we'll just put electric on alongside it. that. So that's electric and gas. We've mm -hmm. got, yeah, so we've got an hour run time on 25 degrees. Press start. There we go. So override is operating on there. Now, control panel is now awake. If I just have a look at it, if you can see that, look, 25 yep. degrees is the temperature we set. Yep. Heating, so it's not gas, that is the gas. So we've got gas and one electric. Yeah. Okay. So that will operate for that runtime of an hour. Yeah. So um, at the end of that, it will revert back to timer. So say we've come down the hill now. There's a cafe at the bottom. We're going to the cafe instead. I'm not going back to the car. We're going go into the cafe, have a meal. Um, what we don't want now, we don't need the heating running now. We can wait. It can drop, on, put, put it back to the timer. So yeah. if you just tap override, it will shut that off. We'll go back to timer. So it's now switched the control panel off again. Okay. So another thing, if Obviously, as you see there, there's a little play symbol against heating. Can you see that? Yeah. It's going to just about to disappear any second. Oh, we thought. There we go. Yeah. And that one's water heating. So that's just a symbol to say what we've got 
um, operating. Right. Obviously, it's switched off now. Yeah. Okay. So, if we've been using this app, mm -hmm. and then out on site, and then we've gone home, caravan's gone home, next site, we come along, and then we try to operate this, mm -hmm. with obviously without that, so we, we're trying to operate on this, Some it may not operate because obviously it's waiting for a timer. If you look here, there's a little clock symbol. Yeah. So, if this is not operating where you think it should be, yeah. it may be because we've still got it on app. Right. Okay. So what we can do, we can set it back manual via there, or we look for heating settings and just go put it back manual there. Right. Okay. So little clocks disappear. You can see that it's just clock now. We yep. switch that on and operate and set that via that. Okay. okay. So you can't do them both at the same time. Yeah. Because we had one customer up on site. They were freezing all night, and obviously they weren't very happy. And he says, "Well, have you been using your your app? No, no, we haven't been using your app. You know, we tried it. We put it was eleven degrees. We put it up to twenty three. Jumped back to eleven. So can I just have a look at your app then? Yeah, and then there it was. On at each time they set eleven degrees on the each timer. <laughs> we got up there. It's like, well, no one, you can't change that if you've got the timer control in it. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Come back out of that one. What we've also got is fridge. So we, we can actually talk. Oh, that, that's aircon. Oh, we, we haven't, haven't got. got that. No, you got a door. Uh, <laughs> aircon. Uh, aircon. Fridge. I should say. Fridge. So that you can talk to the fridge. So right. if you look at that now, it should say auto on the fridge. Yep. And uh, setting off free, which it does. Yep. So you can uh, change that, change, change that. the energy, change the level of. This green bar here, yep. that, that doesn't change anything. But when that is lit up over optimal, that means that fridge is at, at that temperature. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you may need to increase it. If it's on the plus side, you need to increase it. Or if it's on the minus side, decrease it to get to optimal. It's not instant change. Obviously, yeah, the temperature of the, temp of the fridge has to go up or down with it. Yeah. Okay. So if you go plus, it's going to go colder. Yeah. Or no, you need to go colder. Yeah. If you go colder. If you want it to go colder, you need to increase that. Yeah. Which are that. So you, you, if it's going plus, you need to increase it. Right. Yeah. So you need to high, higher setting. Yeah. To cool, cool to it. Cool it. Yeah. Right. Because okay. I know the fridge is not long been on, so it's yeah. not going to be optimal. So you need it's near the plus. So I would need to increase the level of the the fridge. Yeah. And obviously, if it goes the other way, then you need to decrease it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. okay, back out of that one. What we've got is lights, so we had a quick look at lights. Yeah. Here, have, a, have a little, just have a look. Obviously, it should be here. Uh, there we go. So you can switch the lights on and off. You can also do that remotely as well. Yep. Dimmer level. So on here, if I just um, scroll up to dimmer level, there we go. So I scroll around there. We can change the dimmer level of both lights together. So the one above the bed and the one here, manually from here. Mm -hmm. See, that's now. Oh, it's jumped again. Five degrees, uh, five degrees, five percent. Yeah. You see that's jumped to there now, look. Yeah. But we can actually do, so that's doing both of them. So yeah. You see the back. If you're doing it in the, via the app, you can do them separately. Right. So you can do the, the front and the back at different levels. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay, come back out of that one. So, okay, air can we haven't got. So that one there is, is the remote tile. So you just tap on that one. That one. Yep. So you can see we've got no, nothing connection. Have you um, registered with Swift Command? Yeah. Yep. So, Obviously, we need to connect your van to you. So if you yeah. come back over there, go to head and shoulders. Nothing to do with dandruff. Right. So we got. You would have uh, registered with email address and password yeah. if you put them in for me. Obviously, you may not want to record that. Obviously, it does help if you remember. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what the password is. All right. Without the password, you definitely won't know. The phone knows what the password is, though, or should do. It may or may not. Okay, try, try, try it. I don't. I don't think it won't. It shouldn't. On this bit here, right. tell you what the password is. Problem is if you, if you can't remember me on when you logged into Swift Command, you have to put, you have to put your password in. But when you log back into Swift Command, you probably it will recognize remember that. Yeah. But not necessarily on the password here. No. So you have to remember it. <laughs> so. It's, all right. Yes. So what we do? So yeah. obviously I can't go through it without you putting the password in. But yeah. really, but so what you would do is put the password in. Yeah. You don't need to put these other ones. They populate once you get the vehicle details. Yeah. So what you would do then is tap vehicle details. Yeah. That will bring up the van name underneath. So it'll say Swift uh, Sprite, whatever it is. Yeah. There. So on that bar there, and you tap on that. That jumps to the top of the page. Then you press save. Yeah. And then you're then connected. So you come back out of there. Should just come back back somewhere. We'll do it then. Yeah, we'll yeah, okay. just, put, just press done. That's it. Now come back there. That's it. Then you go back to that tile. What you would see then is these five lit. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Then to see the other ones, which you can talk to it remotely, is press update. Mm -hmm. 
then that will light up all of them. So then it will be communicating with your van. Right. What it will do in the meantime is switch your Bluetooth off because it wants to talk to you over 4G or 3G or whatever else. Mm -hmm. Okay. The only other important thing of that is your caravan, wherever it's sighted, or wherever you positioned it, has to have a signal. Okay, so if you're yeah. sitting in your van, you haven't got a signal on your phone. You your van's not going to have no. a signal on the phone. No. So all, also where you are and where that, where that How is. How we're doing? Okay. All right. Yeah. Taking it Good all on board. Of course. Good. Yeah. Trying to do the app. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, as I said, you have to have a signal where you are and yeah. where the caravan is for you to be able to communicate. Yeah. Okay. Just come back over there. Once you've once it's recognised you and your caravan, you can go to the manual which is there. <laughs> So obviously that would be specific for this van. Yeah. Um, alerts, we got that on there as well. It, it, on one of the alerts, it's frost alert. Do not rely on that to tell you that your van is cold. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. If your van is cold already, it may be frozen already if you've left yes. water in it. So don't rely yeah. on that for that. Mm -hmm. And also Swift, if you just tap on that one, I'll need to show you. Obviously the Swift website, Swift forum, if you want to talk to people, yeah. you've got Swift Caravan. Swift TV, that's the new models in September. It'll show the new models for next year. Swift Connect. So what that is, um, it's where you can see your service history for your van. So what happens is service will communicate to Swift to say you are now the owner of the van, obviously warranty and everything else covered. Swift will then ping you an email with a username and password to go onto Swift Connect. So then you obviously register on there, and then mm -hmm. you can see your service history yeah. and parts on order. And if there's any faults with the van, you can report it to them, but they will just ping it through to us. So you might as well just tell you in tell the first place. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Happy with that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully yeah. that's enough. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously not too much of a brain overload. But no, that's, no, that's fine. I would right. say, I mean, the, there's it's, a, there's all a very, lot. it's all very well and good. Yes. But if if, if, you, if you don't you don't need to use that, it's, yeah. there's, obviously your basics, heating is up there, yeah. your fridge is there. Yeah. Okay, but basics, just, just re reiterating on the basics is power on. Yeah. Yeah. So 12 volts. You always you switch it on when you get in the van. Yeah. Water pump. Just be careful. Make sure everything still goes down yep. before you switch it on. Then your lights, main lights, master switch, dimmer lights, master switch. Yep. Then only light, which is the outside one. Yeah. And you just menu, just scroll up and down. If you need to look into there, you can do. Yeah. But it's not nothing too important in there unless you really want to. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Happy with everything inside. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, there's a lot, a lot to take in. I know. I'd, I'd be exactly the same. Anything new. Obviously, yeah. there's quite a bit of stuff to think about. In, yeah, it just takes time, doesn't it? Yeah. You once you've once you've used it, it a few times, exactly. Once you've used it a few times, then obviously it becomes uh, second nature. Yeah. You know, I can get a van set up in half an hour, not morning perhaps, but mo you know, the basics of once you get into it. Obviously, yeah. you work as a team. My wife tends to jump in and she's doing inside. I'm on the outside connecting water, or yeah. if the kids are coming with us, I'll send them off to go and get some water. Or if if they really want to come with us, but not yeah. unless they want a free holiday, and then they do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay, right. Oh, George hasn't brought me the paperwork, has he? No. Um, well, I just need to cheat. Go and grab George in. Okay. Um, so, probably you might want to stop the cording now. So, what I'll do, I'll just go.